with me being a control freak, well, trying to not be one anymore, but it's still a big part of me. And so one of the hardest things about being a control freak is having these expectations for how other people should behave. And in life coaching, we call this the manual. So I have a manual in my head, which is like really thick. And this manual has all these rules and regulations for how people should behave. So I have a manual for how husbands should behave, friends should behave, family should behave, kids should ex behave, etc. And so what's interesting is just having this awareness that I literally made it up. Like I have the set of rules based on how I was raised, based on the things that I watch, based on the things that I read, uh, based on what other people around me are doing. I'm like, oh, I like this. I'm going to put that in my manual. Like I'm not consciously thinking that, but subconsciously I'm just storing away all this information into this thick manual. And so when I realize, like, okay, they're not living up to my expectation. Whose fault is that? It's my, it's my own. Because first of all, I have no control over anyone except for myself. And so um, when people aren't living up to my manual, that's okay because maybe they are living up to their manual and that's their business. And so once I throw my manual away, that's when I can get to peace and acceptance. And then I can bring the focus back to me because I'm the only one that I have full 100% control over. And so I should be spending my time thinking about what can I be doing different, not worrying about what other people are doing.